Hey guys, welcome to VTeach Academy. And in this presentation, we are going to discuss about how to divide numbers in easy and a quicker way. So let me explain you with an example. So let's take the first example, that is 864 divided by 24. Now, this looks a bit difficult dividing a number with the 24. So let's make it easy let's break down 24 into its own factors and then again try to divide or solve the same problem so in the first step we divide 864 with its first factor that is 6 so now dividing with 6 looks a bit easier so divide 864 with 6 we get 6 1 times is 6 so 8 minus 6 we get 2 carry down 6 then 6 fours is 24 so 26 minus 24 is again 2 here and then carry the third digit that is 4 now 6 4 times is 24 so the remainder is 0 here now the quotient which remains is the result for 864 divided by 6 so again divide the remaining result that is 144 with the next factor that is 4 so dividing 144 with 4 we get 4 3 times is 12, 14 minus 12 is 2, carry down 4 that is third digit, so 4 6 times is 24, so the remainder remains 0 and then the final result for this division is 36, so 864 divided by 24 is 36. This type of calculations can even be done mentally, so 864 divided by the first factor 6, we get the result as 144 and then divide the result that is 144 with the next factor that is 4 so 144 divided by 4 we get the result as 36 so the more you practice you can see that your speed for calculating this kind of divisions is going up so let's take uh, some more examples let's try to divide 1392 with 48 so this is 48 is a bigger number I guess okay so let's break down 48 into its own factors so what are the factors for 48 8 and 6 okay 8 and 6 is nothing but 8 6 is 48 so let's divide 1392 with the first factor that is 8 so 1392 divided by 8 we get 8 1 times is 8 so 59 8 7 times is 56 and 32 is 174 8, 30, 92 divided by 8 is 174 so now the result 174 is to be divided into the second factor that is 6 174 divided by 6 we get as 6 22 times and then 9 so 29 is the final result so 1392 divided by 48 is 29 see how easy and how faster you have calculated this one you can even ask me that why we are just doing it with the two factors we can even try with the more factors or the smaller factors that are even more easier yes you can do in that way either so we can even uh, break down 48 into three factors that is you can see 4 6 and 2 yes those are even factors for 48 so let's try to do the same thing with the three factors so let's divide it with the first factor 1392 divided by 4 we get the result as 4 3 times 1 9 so 4 and 3 48 or the 392 divided by 4 is 348 so now the result 348 is to be divided with the second factor that is 6 348 divided by 6 we get the result as 58 so now 58 is to be divided with third factor that is 2 58 divided by 2 we get the answer as 29 the same we get the same answer so you can take any of the methods you can either take with the two factors or else you can even try with the three factors whichever way you feel it as easy or a more simpler way so let's uh, go with uh, some more examples let's try out with say 1152 that is 1152 divided by 64 64 is a bigger number i guess so let's break down 64 into its factors that is 8 and 8 so let's go with the first step that is dividing 1152 with the first factor that is 8 so 1152 divided by 8 we get the result as 144 again divide the result 144 with 8 we get the result as 18 okay so the 18 is the final result of 1152 divided by 64 so let's go with uh, one more example that is 
4608 divided by 72 okay so let's break 72 into its own factors so 72 can be broken into the factors say like 9 and 8 okay so now 4608 should be divided with the first factor that is 9 so 4608 divided by 9 we get the result as 512 so now the result 512 is to be divided with the second factor that is 8 so 512 divided by 8 we get 64 so the result for 4608 divided by 72 is 64 hope you understood the concept so the more you practice you will see that your speed for solving these division problems is going up so try to practice as many times as possible In our next video, I will try to solve the problems with bigger numbers, say like a bigger divisor with a three-digit numbers, in the same concept. Hope you like this presentation. Do subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.